Hi guys, today we will be learning harmonic distortion that is occurring in the power amplifier. To avoid the harmonic distortion, what methodologies we have to get that we have to learn in this particular video. Let's start. Let's talk about harmonic distortion. Harmonic distortion are of two types. One is amplitude distortion and another is frequency distortion. Whenever I am talking about amplitude distortion, there is no same amplitude for both the cycle. So if I am talking about first half cycle, I am getting some 10 volts. If I'm talking about negative half cycle, I'm getting 9 volts. So that is that is much difference I'm getting. So that is nothing but your amplitude distortion. As you are looking in this particular diagram, here I am talking about the first fundamental frequency and second fundamental frequency, third fundamental frequency, and so on. Here in this particular diagram, we are talking about the frequency distortion. What is the frequency distortion? For all the frequencies, I am not getting the same amplitude. That is nothing but your frequency distortion. And how we can avoid that, that we will study later on. First of all, we will understand mathematically how the distortion occurs. Whenever I am talking about the relation between IC and IB, IC is nothing but the collector current and IB is nothing but the base current. Generally, in your voltage amplifier, we form the linear relationship. But in power amplifier, we have to consider the non-linear relationship. Whenever I am talking about this non-linear relationship, this shows that it's non-linearity. And I am saying that for same change in IC, there is different change in IB, right? So, when I am talking about only the amplitude distortion, this is what I was saying about and this is what I have said about the frequency distortion. Now, let us understand mathematically how this graph is showing the distortion in the terms of IC and IB car relationship that is non-linear relationship. So, that is called as non-linear distortion that occurs in class A power amplifier, class B power amplifier and how can we avoid that. Let us consider that y is a function of x and this can be represented by this mathematical representation. Now, I am saying that this y I can write in the terms of polynomials when I am talking about non-linearity. Non-linear expression I have formed with the waveform type with relationship IC and IB. Now, I can say that when I am talking about IC that is the AC current where the DC current is a reference current, Q point current and on the basis of that I am forming the AC current. So, IC that is capital IC that is DC IC plus A1 into IB plus A2 into IB square and A3 into IB cube and so on. I am just adding all the harmonics of IC. So, I will be getting, I am adding all the harmonics of IC in the form of IB, right? So, whatever this particular things I am getting that is nothing but the fundamental, right? Some addition will be there, obviously. If I am talking about the sinusoidal nature of IB, obviously when I am talking about power amplifier input, I am giving the input in the form of sinusoidal signal, right? So, if I am talking about the sinusoidal signal with the reference frequency as omega 0 that is in radian per second, then what I will have to do, we will just have to put this particular value in all the expression IB, IB square, IB cube and so on, okay? Now, whatever IC ka expression that I will be getting is nothing but IC plus A1 into cos omega 0 t plus A2 into cos square omega 0 t plus A3 into cos cube omega 0 t. Now, what I have done is in the next step, cos square omega t, I have converted into different frequency, right? Cos square omega t is nothing but 1 plus cos 2 omega 0 t divided by 2. Okay, so 1 by 2 plus cos 2 omega 0 t divided by 2. So, here by changing the frequency, I am getting the change in the amplitude and that is nothing but the distortion. Okay, so I can say that this is nothing but the fundamental frequency I have got and fundamental frequency ka amplitude is nothing but A1, right. Such a way that I can say I can form A2 divided by 2 plus A2 into cos 2 omega 0 t divided by 2. So, A2 divided by 2 is nothing but the amplitude for the frequency related with the 2 omega 0, right? Now, the further frequency if I learn, then it will be more, more enhanced mathematical expression. I do not want to talk about the 3 omega 0, 4 omega 0 and so on. Obviously, some distortion will be there, but here I am talking about the amplitude gets reduced. Here, there I will be getting A3 by 3 a4 by 4, a5 by 5 and so on, right? Some additional things will be there obviously because 
cos square omega 0 t I can convert directly into 2 omega 0 t but here the expression will be something different okay. So right now we are talking about only this particular three terms in this particular equation of IC. Let us proceed further mathematically how we get. Now when I am talking about all the terms then I can say that IC plus a2 divided by 2 plus a3 divided by 3 plus a4 divided by 4 and so on whatever things I am getting that is nothing but the DC type okay that is nothing but the constant value okay that is not depends on the frequency what I want to say. So IC plus all these things are nothing but the basic reference signal okay. So I can say that whatever IC plus I0 this is nothing but the I0 I can say okay and IC plus I0 plus B1 cos omega 0 t plus B2 co 2 cos omega 0 t plus B3 cos 3 omega 0 t. Likewise, I will get all the terms with different frequency. First frequency is omega 0, second frequency is 2 omega 0 and third frequency is 3 omega 0 and so on, right. But the first fundamental frequency that I am getting is nothing but IC plus I0 and that is nothing but the 0th frequency. If you learn, if you look at this particular diagram, here I am talking about x axis which is nothing but the frequency and here at the 0th frequency, I am getting the fundamental signal, right. So what I am talking about, this is nothing but the fundamental okay b1 cos omega 0 t b2 cos 2 omega 0 t b3 cos 3 omega 0 t and so on this is nothing but the average value due to the distortion okay b1 is the amplitude of the first fundamental component b2 is the amplitude of second harmonic okay so whatever frequency i am getting i am talking about only first frequency now i am saying that ic plus i0 right this is nothing but the reference which is given for the ac signal as we do in Quincent point, right? Q point pe hum log ek reference signal dete hai, reference IC Q milta hai, reference VC Q milta hai. Like that, I will be getting this as a reference and this B1 is nothing but the fundamental frequency. That is nothing but the frequency on which I want to operate with maximum amplitude, okay? I will forget all this frequency because I will neglect all this frequency but due to this particular amplitude, right I will not get the exact amplitude which is expected right. So what I can do I can avoid this but how that method I have to learn. So first of all what we will have to do the thing is we have to understand that what is harmonic. Now I can say that this is harmonic, this is second harmonic, this is the third harmonic and this is the fundamental amplitude which I am getting and this is not called as harmonic. You just uh, take an example. Right? Take an example, throw a ball into a water, right? What happens where ball goes down at that particular place, water comes up, right? And that particular amplitude is maximum amplitude, right? And around which waves gets formed, that is nothing but your harmonics. But I don't want harmonics, I want the amplitude which is at fundamental frequency, right? So, we will learn that how to get fundamental frequency. I which is with the frequency omega 0 that is called as a fundamental frequency and all the harmonic components of omega 0 that is nothing but 2 omega 0, 3 omega 0, 4 omega 0, pi omega 0 and so on n omega 0, okay. So all these are nothing but the harmonics, right. I do not want the harmonics basically. So if I do not want the harmonics first of all we will have to learn that how to calculate the harmonics, right? So if this is the harmonics, I can avoid that. If I know something is harmonic, then only then I can remove it out, right? So now we'll let, let us understand that what is harmonic, what is second harmonic, what is third harmonic, first is the first fundamental, right? That is not called as harmonic. So that's why I have written for omega zero, it's nothing but the fundamental. When I'm talking about harmonic, it's components of the frequency omega zero. That is nothing but two omega zero, three omega zero and n omega zero. Mathematically, I can say that second harmonic distortion. Now, whenever I am talking about distortion, something I have to compare with, right? I have to compare with the fundamental frequency, right? Amplitude of the fundamental frequency kitana hai, 
and the amplitude of the second frequency that is 2 omega 0 kitna hai right that particular comparison with the ratio type i will get the second harmonic distortion and that is called as b2 divided by b1 where b1 is nothing but the amplitude of the first fundamental frequency and b2 is nothing but the amplitude of the second frequency second harmonic frequency similarly i can find out n number of harmonics right so this is the second harmonic distortion this is third harmonic distortion i can find out nth harmonic distortion as well now if I want to find out what will be the total harmonic distortion, right? The formula is same as that of your RMS value. Let us talk about this particular thing. This is nothing but the comparison with B2 divided by B1 plus B3 divided by B1 plus B4 divided by B1 and so on. So all the harmonics I'm comparing with the fundamental amplitude, right? So that forms your each and every distortion I'm squaring and then adding and then taking the average right to find out the total harmonic distortion i am squaring each and every distortion adding them and putting in a square bracket that gives me the value of the total harmonic distortion the total harmonic distortion is a form of noise right so it's a basically noise i cannot destroy completely i can reduce it with some extent right so that's what i want to try right so how to avoid this right this can be done by using class b push pull power amplifier okay let's see how it can be done when i'm talking about push pull power amplifier you all know that what is the theory behind push pull power amplifier whenever i'm talking about the first half cycle the ic1 flow in this particular direction when i'm talking about the second half cycle q2 will run and IC2 will run in this particular direction, right? So both the direction as far as this center tap is concerned is different, right? So flux opposes each other. When I'm talking about one IC1 in the form of that distortion wala formula, IC1 is equal to cap capital IC plus I0 cos omega 0 T plus I1 cos 2 omega 0 T and so on, right? So if I'm talking about in that particular sense, I will get this particular equations, right? First equation I will be getting IC1 is equal to IC plus I0 plus B1 cos omega 0 t plus B2 cos 2 omega 0 t and so on, right? That will be the first equation. When I am talking about IC2, as I know that this flux due to IC1 and IC2 opposes each other, right? When I am talking about IC1 is positive, obviously IC2 will become negative, right? When I am talking about negative, it is nothing but the 180 degree phase shift, right? So if 180 degree phase shift is there, then I can say that this cos omega 0 is no longer as omega 0, it's omega 0 plus pi. And I know that cos of omega 0 plus pi is nothing but minus cos omega 0. That's why this is plus sign, but here I'm getting minus sign. This is plus sign, but this is also plus sign. This is because 2 in bracket cos of omega 0 plus pi, right? I'm sorry, cos of 2 in bracket omega 0 plus pi pi right so it's nothing but cos of 2 omega 0 plus 2 pi and cos of theta plus 2 pi is nothing but cos of theta right so that's why here there is no change again here i'm getting change so you can say that if i'm talking about i0 right total current which is getting from the second terminal of <coughs> if i'm talking about the total current then i will get it over here right that is nothing but the secondary of the transformer output transformer and that is nothing but ic1 minus ic2 minus sign because of 180 degree phase shift i can say that i can say that this subtraction whatever result i am getting that is with all odd components of the frequency first frequency is a fundamental frequency omega 0 second frequency is nothing but 3 omega 0 third frequency will come out as 5 omega 0 and so on so what i have done I have reduced the harmonic distortion. So if I am talking about total harmonic distortion, what will be your total harmonic distortion? So your total harmonic distortion gets reduced d3 square plus d5 square plus d7 square and so on. So here I have avoided all the even harmonic component but odd harmonic components will remain as it is. Okay. So with the push pull power amplifier, I can achieve to reduce the harmonic component. But one major concern with the class B push pull power amplifier is the crossover distortion.
crossover distortion occurs due to cut in voltage of each and every transistor we are using so that we will learn in the further videos i hope you like this video and you learn a lot from this particular video what is harmonic distortion and how to avoid harmonic distortion by using class b push pull power amplifier thank you so much for watching this particular video subscribe ikeda channel without fail thank you so much